Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a haul video before we talk about the haul when I purchased. Um, this package took quite the detour. <laughs> okay, so apparently this package was delivered to my mailbox on um, Wednesday last week. Um, wasn't in my mailbox. So I contacted Canada Post and said, hey, it says delivered, not in my mailbox. And they said, okay, we'll open up a case on it. Thursday, when I'm at work, it says out for delivery and then delivered. So when I got home, I figured it'd be in my mailbox again, not in my mailbox. In between this, I've contacted Victoria at nailstuff.ca and said, my package has gone missing. Just wanted to give you a heads up, just in case you get a phone call from Canada Post. It's, it's disappeared. So continued waiting for this package. I went into the post office on Saturday and said it's not been delivered to my mailbox. It says it has been, but it's not been. Is it possible that it's in the uh, package compartment of the mailbox? I'm gonna pop up a picture of what my mailbox looks like in case you're not from Canada and you don't know what our mailboxes look like. There's our own personal mailboxes that are like this big. They're not very big. And they have like package compartments where if you have a parcel, they will leave it in there and give you the key to get into that package compartment. So I said, is it possible that this package is in one of the compartments and I just don't have the key for it? So they said that they would send somebody out to my mailbox to open it up and have a look. Apparently it wasn't there either. Anyway, long story short, on Monday, I wanna say, when I got home, finally, package was in my kitchen. My husband said that when he went out for work, the package was sitting on our porch. So somebody, either from the mailbox or if it was delivered to a neighbor by mistake, had put it on our porch. And I was so relieved because this was quite a large order. Like I don't normally order that much nail polish all at once. I've been waiting for nail stuff to get the new collections from Artist Nails. Um, and I had set aside some birthday money for them specifically for that purpose. So when they came out with the collections I was looking for. I just kind of went crazy and they had a sale on two and it ended up being like $120 order. But that's a huge order to get lost. I was so worried that it was just gonna be completely lost and you know, I was gonna be out of that money, but Victoria said she would have sent me another package if it had gone missing, but still, that she would have been out that kind of, that, the products too. So I'm just happy that it all worked out and I finally got it. It was like a week later, but still I finally got the package. Um, so Victoria from Nail Stuff, thank you so much for your patience with me while I was going crazy trying to find this freaking package. Um, it all worked out, thankfully. Um, anyway, as you guys know, Artis Nails has become one of my favorite indie brands. I'm super excited that they are now stocked at uh, nailstuff.ca. Um, so I don't have to worry about ordering from the States. I'm worrying about customs and ship times and all that kind of stuff. Um, she's in Ottawa, which is about five hours for me, so really it should only be a day or so for me to get my packages from them once they're shipped, so I'm excited for that. I don't have to wait like a two or three weeks to come from the States anymore, which is awesome. I'm so glad. And Victoria's customer service is second to none. I'm just gonna put that, put that out there. Um, so I'm sure you guys want to see the polishes that I picked up um, from um, nail stuff. So we'll start looking at them. So I picked up two of the new cream polishes. These are very quite bright polishes for the summer. This is absolutely looking neon on camera and it is I like a pastel neon green. This is Claire. And this is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is Lisa. I picked these ones up because I have Catherine. Uh, so now I have uh, Catherine, Lisa, and Claire. I can actually have a house polish meeting, even though they're just bottles of nail polish and not the three of us in person. I thought it was kind of funny, but you might not. <laughs> uh, but I picked up the three. Um, I picked up Catherine from Neutrometry a couple months ago. So I was waiting for these two to pop up on Nail Stuff's website. So this is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is like a beautiful, like, corally pink. 
so pretty very very summery and a beautiful formula on them these are pretty much one coaters like um cats cream polishes she is just a wizard with cream polishes she's a wizard with everything let's let's just that's not a lie she's a wizard with everything but the creams that she makes they're just such beautiful formulas so i'm happy to have these two in my collection i also picked up two of the bright ideas collection um this one i wore first this is tesla and this has a beautiful shimmer in here can you see that shimmer it's very very pretty i tried to get it to show up in my picture couldn't do it unfortunately but it is there and it's absolutely gorgeous it does show up on the nails just my picture was not the greatest that day so that's tesla and i also picked up da vinci i have not worn this one yet this is a beautiful purple beautiful formula on it on the on the swatch wheel absolutely gorgeous so that is uh, da vinci and I picked up the entire Soft Hues collection. The reason I picked up that whole collection is just because it's a very... It's got such colors that are appropriate for every situation, like for a wedding or for a night out or for work or that kind of thing. It's they're just very versatile polishes. So this first one is called Mink Embrace. It's kind of like a brownish tinge, but it's holographic. It's got a little bit of a red flash in there too. So that's Mink Embrace. This next one is called Copper Dawn. And this is kind of like a champagne-y kind of a base. And it has a little bit of a copper flash in there. Very pretty. It's holographic as well. So that's Copper Dawn. This next one is Sugared Almond. And this would be beautiful for a wedding. This is kind of like a muted pinky base. So pretty. This next one is Rock Candy. Again, this would be pretty for a wedding too. It's a little bit more pinky than the last one. And this has got the holographic in there too. Very pretty. And finally, this one is Mineral Mist. And this is a nice light blue. This would be pretty for a baby shower. Like they're just very work, like they're just very life appropriate polishes, if you know what I mean. So those are the polishes that I picked up from Nail Stuff. Victoria from Nail Stuff also uh, included this uh, Wicked Polish. It's one of the new uh, flakies from their newest collection. And this is called Mother Flaker. I thought the name was hilarious. So I haven't actually worn this one yet. I need to play around with it. I think it's probably best over a darker base. So when I tried it over the swatch stick, I think it would definitely look better over a darker base but i'm gonna play around with this and i will pop up a swatch of it once i wear it so thank you so much for including this uh, victoria so in other news you may have been wondering where i've been um the last couple weeks i have just been so busy with work and uh, with the kids it's just been one of those points in my life where it's just been no time for anything else so i apologize that i have been absent but uh, i've been wanting to post and i'm really hoping to have two videos out next weekend Fingers crossed everything works out. I was supposed to have two videos works out next weekend because I'm in two collabs next weekend. Fingers crossed both of them will go up. Um, <laughs> watch the space. Let's see if I have time. Um, anyway, so I apologize for the lack of videos. I always have these kind of like points where it's just everything just kind of like bottlenecks and I just I have something has to give and it's usually YouTube unfortunately. But you know can't be my work that suffers it can't be the kids that suffers this is my hobby and so unfortunately this has to suffer um uh, in other news what else my youtube anniversary was this week so uh it's been three years since i posted my first youtube video i can't believe it's been three years it feels like a lot longer i don't know if it's a good thing but it feels like i've been posting youtube videos forever <laughs> um but yeah, I'm really proud of myself that I've made it three years here on YouTube. I've made some wonderful friends over the last couple of years. I want to thank everybody for your support and your love over the past couple of years. It's been great. And in that spirit, um, I am going to do a little giveaway. I am going to um, gift a $25 US gift card for Polish Pickup. All I want you to, to, uh, to do in this video, I'm not gonna announce that this is a giveaway. I always do this with my giveaways because I want 
I, my actual viewers of my videos to uh, to win. I just don't want some random person to swoop in and say, hey, I'm gonna win this giveaway. Nope, I want somebody who actually watches my videos to win something. So here's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be a $25 US polish pickup gift card that you're gonna win. What I want you to do is in the comments of video down, down below, I want you to leave a comment and I want you to tell me what your um, favorite video that I have ever done in the comments down below. It could be anything, it could be my Indie Expo vlogs, it could be uh, my top 10 favorite pinks or something like that, whatever. Don't care what it is, just leave a comment of what video that you really enjoyed of mine in the comments down below. Um, so rules, you have to be over 18 or have permission from your parents. I don't think that's really an issue with me. Most of my most of my demographic is over 20, so I think we're okay there. Um, you need to be a subscriber of the channel. You need to be a uh, follower on Instagram, and um, leave a comment. So that's it. So once you have done that, I will leave this open for a week, I say. So next Sunday at midnight, I'll close it down, and then um, I'll pick somebody at random. And I will announce it on my uh, Instagram who has won. So make sure you're following me on my Instagram. It is one of the rules and um, you will see who has won. Um, that person will have 24 hours to contact me. If that person does not, I will move along to the next person. So like I said, this is just something to say thank you for the last couple of years of support. And um, yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.